Good morning. It is the 60 Seconds to Serenity with me, Greg Hammond, and today is Sunday, November 19th, 2017. I'm here for this morning session to help you with some of your tools. If you are just tuning in to the 60 Seconds to Serenity, this is a short video that I do, live video that I do every morning to help you create and sustain and build the tools to keep yourself in a very calm mind. Um, that is a superpower that you can create to be able to keep your mind uh, very calm and be able to respond to the things that happen throughout your day and also create the type of day that you want to have. Uh, it takes practice and that's uh, why I get on here every single morning to do this video somewhere between the 6 and 7 a.m. hour right here um, on the East Coast. So if you're in California, of course, that's, uh, that is an early time. And I was thinking about taking a poll. Good morning. I see Carol hopped on and Dawn. Good morning. Um, and, and if you're in the UK, then it's a much later time. I was going to take a poll and ask and say, based on you know the average morning for you for you and when you can tune in live is there a time when that's better for you um, if you if you have a time that you were thinking oh just wish this was in this time window let me know um, I'm probably gonna keep it the same time but I would like to know I'd like to hear what times work well um, if or if you tune in and you're just uh, tuning in on a replay. If you watch it later on a replay, you can just let me know that. I'm just curious. Um, so, calmness of mind through uh, your tools of a calm, very tranquil and um, purposeful breath that you're tying in with your your affirmation and your gratitude of the memory of something um, fantastic that you've experienced. Um, and of course, keep smiling. So for today, I wanted to talk about the to-do list that I was mentioning the other day, six things you write out, six things to do that you have to do, print them out on a card or write them on a tablet. It's great to do that before you go to sleep because a lot of times that's what's in their mind. And, um, before you go to sleep, you want to use your 60 seconds to serenity tool to, bring yourself into a very calm mind so that you drift off to sleep in a calm mind and if you I'm giving some advice that I've gotten from tons of fantastic uh, teachers and uh, Jack Canfield is uh, one of my friends and the teacher who has expressed how important it is to not go to sleep with something that's disturbing you in your mind right you want to get he said get out of bed if you find your mind going into that Right, with a 60 seconds to serenity tool, you can shift that a little bit faster. But, um, but I, that's exactly right. Don't go to sleep with something that's stressing you out on your mind. Right? Don't have that in your mind, uh, in your thought process. Don't be trying to figure it out before you go to sleep. You want to use your 60 seconds to serenity tools. Right? Your breathing and your gratitude. If you've been working on, if you've been here in the morning, you know that we're talking about writing out 10 things, having a notebook that you can write that in. This one's kind of fancy. Anything will work, um, even if you just, you're just you scratching on paper. But I recommend you have it in a place where you can review it and see it over and over, where you know 10 things are written down each day. Um, and things like strong coffee, Amazon Prime delivery, the garbage collection crew, the 930 club, reflexology shoes, uh, wise authors, uh, glass windows, um, my songs hitting uh, number one on the charts, um, worldwide participation in Global Jam, the 60 Seconds to Serenity, um, Jack Hanfield's on here, Beautiful Weather, Birds Singing, um, Sandy Gallagher, Neville Goddard, these are um, ranging from actual things to places to people and to experiences. So everything can go onto your gratitude list. 
And as you write out 10 things, you um, think about those things in a little bit of detail. And so if you're using that, using that as your before sleep practice, right, in your mind, these amazing, uh, peaceful, and um, grateful thoughts going through so you have a calm mind, making your list before you go to sleep of things you got to take care of. Um, you want to do that maybe uh, you know, a bit bef before you go to sleep so that um, if you have things that you have to take care of that are not the most, uh, most amazing thing of your day, it's like less desirable. Um, I try to make everything exciting and I try to look at <clears throat> how I can, I can find and harvest the good in whatever situation it is. But um, maybe some things are time consuming and, and it might stir some other thoughts that you don't want to necessarily take with you when you go to sleep. You don't want to take them in your mind. So using your serenity tools and doing the, the list um, a little bit before you're getting to bed. And affirmations, these are just simple ones that I put on the I am's. I am healthy and I am happy and I am helpful. Those were just three from the other day. And uh, I'd like to know what your top three are. Put those in the comments here if you could. And uh, the news flash that I run through here is good news. Your life just got a whole lot easier, right? Uh, I've got the reverse camera thing, so, um, and I noticed that it seems like I'm in a jungle here with uh, all these tropical branches there in the in the frame. One of those little cool things that Facebook uh, does. So, and when we're talking about the keep smiling, stay tuned because this is coming. The keep smiling book. Uh, that I've done with my co-author uh, Ken Ken Rashawn, awesome guy who's uh, captured some amazing uh, amazing people on the planet who are doing amazing work and had have had them hold up the Keep Smiling card. The founder Barry Shore has an amazing story that's uh, in the book as well, and. So stay tuned because I'll have that up on Amazon, this particular version, my copy. Um, I mean, my my version. I'm going to have three versions of them, but the first one will be up uh, soon. So stay tuned for information on that. Um, I have to do my reading this morning, so I'm going to hop off. It was a little bit later for me to hop on, but I figured Sunday was a good day to be on the later side between 6 and 7. So that's why I did that. So... Um, I hope that you have a um, very serene and tranquil, calm Sunday that's filled with exciting things for you that, uh, on emotional and mental. I recommend you do some reading. Make sure you do your gratitude list. Practice your doing your breathing for and doing your 60 seconds where you team up those things you're grateful for and memories of amazing things with your slow breathing and use that to bring yourself to a, a calm mind since uh, developing that gives you leverage over all the stuff in your day as you use that power and then keep the, keeping that calm mind can respond to things throughout your day. I've got a, a long day of teaching guitar lessons and so I've got to hop off of here because I've got so many things to do this morning that are um, important and exciting, making them exciting. So I hope you are intending to make your Sunday uh, exciting. I will be back on uh, early in the morning on Monday, and I will see you then. So have a super, super Sunday.